Hi, this is Sarah Maywald for Acuity Laser. Today, I want to introduce you to a new feature for our touch panel display that we call Sessions. The Acuity touch panel display has always allowed for monitoring of real-time measurements, but many applications are less concerned with each individual point on an object and are more concerned with its mean size or thickness, or perhaps the maximum or minimum measurement of an object. That's where Sessions comes in. Sessions allows the touch panel to detect when an object enters the sensor's range and displays the average, maximum, minimum, and mode of the measurements after it passes by. So let me show you how it works. First, you connect the sensor to your touch panel. You'll want to calibrate your sensor first, so go to the measurement screen and tap the start button to start the measurements. Here we are using an AR700-4. In order to calibrate the output, you'll need an object of known size. Here I'm using a Mitotoyo 1-inch gauge block. I place it in the sensor's range, and you can see the result. Pull it away, and the measurement goes back. If you notice the measurement isn't exactly 1 inch, that's why we're calibrating. Calibration corrects for alignment errors. To calibrate, tap the calibration button in the lower right. To use known distances or gauge blocks to calibrate, tap Guided. In this case, I want the surface of the breadboard to be the zero point. So I will keep the surface clear and enter zero as the distance. Next, I will put the gauge block underneath and enter its value. And there you go. This setup is now calibrated. Now stop the measurements and go to Application Settings. To use Sessions, tap the Measure in Sessions box. The threshold is the measurement level that triggers the start and end of each session. You can adjust this by tapping on the threshold field. By default, each session will start whenever anything comes in range of the sensor and stop whenever it leaves the sensor's range. But you can also set a specific measurement to start and stop the session if there's always an object or surface in the sensor's range. For this example, the object will always be larger than a tenth of an inch, so I'll enter that. Now we go back to the measurement screen. Hitting start no longer shows a measurement. It simply states that it is ready for a session. Let's try putting the gauge block back. When the session is in process, the touch panel will say it's measuring. Now let's remove the block. Here we get four values, the minimum, the maximum, the mode, and the average. The maximum is a little high because sliding the block introduced error. The mode, if you don't remember that one algebra class 30 years ago and had to look it up before narrating this video, is the most common value in a set, and that is spot on. A very common application is measuring the diameter of an object. Here, I'm going to use a AA battery. Please note that we have received no money from the good people at Costco. I should be able to roll this battery under the sensor, and the maximum should be the diameter. Let's see how that goes. Looks pretty good. The battery is probably not perfectly cylindrical, so for this example, I'm going to measure it a few more times. I'm clearly on a roll. Now I'll measure the battery with a caliper a few times. Please note that we have not received any compensation from the good people at Mitotoyo either.
that looks just right. One other thing to mention is that you can not only use sessions for a single sensor, but also a pair of sensors in thickness mode. Sessions is just the latest in a line of upgrades to our touch panel display. We hope you'll find it useful. Thanks for watching.